You're on. I no? think I am. Are you? Yeah. I think it's a dolphin. It's not a bad way to start the day. No. Try to grab that tail. There you go. Oh, yeah. Woman driver, no survivor? Listen, woman driver, you will survive. I couldn't survive without her. That's Not even right. gonna lie. That's right. So we're, we're thankful to have you here driving this That's morning. That's right, he wouldn't be eating the way he does. That's right. He'd but be a lot smaller. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so we're gonna bring you guys into a day in the life here in the Keys. Typically, we just go out fishing, you know, film a fishing video, but we're just going with the flow, so. Okay. Typically, those are some of the best days. Yeah, and another thing to add is like, it's a beautiful, calm morning. So whatever Summertime, we do, baby. yeah, so whatever we do. There's gonna be a good outcome. Yeah, there is. And that's why we brought out the Pathfinder today mm -hmm. instead of the big boy. Work smarter, not harder. That's right. Yeah, they're right here to the left. They're right in I front think. of us. Yeah, we're right on top of them. They're small. Yeah, they're tiny. There's some bigger ones right here. Go, go, go. Those are bigger. And you got them. This is where it really helps to have that quarter inch mesh. These ones are tiny, man. But these will be perfect little chummer baits. All right. Well, we made it to the first spot today, and as you can see, it's a huge secret. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it definitely does produce fish when it's on. I'm gonna teach you guys a little trick here real quick. You see, right now we're in the Gulf Stream where the current rips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the trolling motor, put it on spot lock, and I'm gonna leave the combustion engine in gear and what the combustion engine is going to do, it's going to give it a little extra, I guess you could say propulsion forward. So that way that trolling motor can hold on spot lock and really, really heavy current. It's a good little tip for you guys out there. It's flipping and dipping. Isn't that so wild though? It looks like we're actually idling forward, but we're really staying right in place. All right. You're marking them? Yeah. Nice. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like if we start chumming, we'll know if they're here or not. So right now I'm going to use the 5500. We do have a 4500, but I prefer the 55 because if I catch a bigger tuna, it's going to be easier to bring them to the boat with the 55 versus a 45. All right. You ready? Yep. Try hooking mine in the belly. See if something different happens. You're on. No? I think I am. Are you? Yeah. I think it's a dolphin. Yeah, it's gotta be a dolphin. Oh, yeah. it is! Dolphin. He got a dolphin! Yeah. It's so funny, I felt getting picked up and it didn't rip drag like a tuna typically does. And I'm like, I know I have something on here. And this has happened multiple times in the past, so immediately I knew it was a mahi, man. I'll take it, though. <laughs> it's not a bad way to start the day. And no? Not bad at all. Put him in the boat. That's a nice size one, yeah, guys. that's what I was saying. He's not bad. He's pulling on me. Nice little bull. I probably should stick a gaff in this thing. Okay. But I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. 
I don't have a gaff in the boat. <laughs> That's what happens when you're always switching back and forth. I'm surprised. We came tuna fishing and you don't have a... Yeah, but it makes it more fun. Makes it more challenging for sure. Here, yeah. I'll grab them. Get to wrangle them. Try to grab that tail. There you go. Oh, yeah. Put them in the boat. Put them Woo! in the boat. You crazy? <laughs> You're holding them Look over the that. side of the boat like you don't want what them to get inside or something. What a beautiful dolphin. You're telling me. It's a nice little bull. What's so cool is when you don't stick a gaff in them, they keep all of their color. Gosh, that's so freaking cool, man. So it's crazy, once you get about 20 miles offshore, the bottom gets very jagged. And with the Gulf Stream current, the way it rips in the summertime, just to give you an example, we're moving at about four miles an hour right now. As all the water pushes through over that jagged bottom, you get these really, really crazy current rips out here. So you'll notice some days when you're running in the boat, it'll be just flat calm. And then all of a sudden the seas will pick up you know, from flat to one to two foot seas. And a lot of that has to do with just that current going over that jagged bottom. And that's exactly what's happening right here. And a lot of the times it's a really, really good place to fish if you can't find any debris or you can't find any birds, any signs of life. But it's just, it's so wild. The ocean is a very crazy, dangerous, interesting, and beautiful place all at once. And that's why I love it so much. Oh, I got picked up. Is it what a is mahi? It? Yeah. Get him, girl. Here, I got a line going in the water. Oh yeah, look at him jump. <laughs> it's so cool. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. There he nice. is. Nice. Oh, he's got some fight in him. Oh yeah. That's so sweet. That is. Looks like it's a cow too. Look at that. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's probably the cow that was swimming with that bull. Get it for me. There you go, show him how it's done. No gaff needed right there. But if you ever catch a fish and you see all these little rashes and stuff like that, that's from our fishing line rubbing up against his body. Light night. Let me show you guys something. She's so proud of her fridge. Absolutely. So I just cleaned out my entire fridge. As you can see, it's pretty empty. But that's all about to change. The reason why is because in this box, we have a HelloFresh meal kit, multiple HelloFresh meal kits. And basically, it comes with absolutely everything that you need to cook a meal. It's literally from farm to table. Every single ingredient, absolutely everything that you guys need to Spices, make a recipe. just everything. Yeah. Your meats, your cheeses, everything is included in All the in box, the box. Which saves a lot of time, especially mm -hmm. when you are cooking, working. It just, every- it makes everything easy. A big thing too is portion control. Yeah. And that's a big problem I have. I eat too much and she buys a lot of groceries and it gets very, very expensive, but this is actually something that I think a lot of people can benefit from. And the best part is, you guys go to HelloFresh.com, you can put in promo code LBTB16, you can get 16 free meals, and HelloFresh also said that they're gonna be giving you guys three free gifts. I have no idea what it is, but just think of it as like a little Life by the Bow gift with a little HelloFresh. No, if that doesn't look picture perfect, I don't know what else does. To be honest, it looks better than the photo. Mm -hmm. How was it though, cooking it? Honestly. It, it was, was about nice. 30 minutes. Yeah, it was like about 30 it said, minutes. Right? But what I liked about it is it had like a step by step what to do. Yeah, the burger's I delicious. put a lot of sauce on mine. But 
We actually had a little cell come through. Mm. It's very small. It's supposed to pass by. So as soon as this little storm passes by, we're gonna get back out there and see if we can catch a permit. That's the goal at least. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm not kidding you. It's probably been like four videos in a row that we've been trying to go offshore and catch a permit. Every single time it has not happened. So I've never done it before. So it's something that I've really been trying to accomplish. Belly's full, feel great, day's beautiful. Gonna go to Angler Eddie's, try to pick up some little tiny permit crabs. We're gonna see if we can finally, finally make it happen. Good to see you. Doing good. I'm mm -hmm. hanging in there. How about you? You guys feel me today? Yeah, like always. So be really careful. With I don't know if I need that many though. That's the thing. I just wanted you to like pick what you need. Oh, okay, perfect. So, so then just some of them are really small. And then just go pop them in the live well right now. Yeah. So pop okay. What you need. Awesome. Gosh, those are perfect size right there. Awesome. I'm just gonna do half a dozen, guys. Yeah, you got it. Okay. I'm just giving you the pick of the litter, buddy. I really appreciate oh, that. The goal is to we sell it. We want to sell it. I want to sell it. Probably get good money for it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a 2018, so. Damn. I just want a tea top. I'm yeah, tired of getting hot, destroyed man. by the sun. For all the people that always ask me, where can they buy a veil gear in the Keys? Angler Eddie's bait and tackle. Let's just get both. They're cheap. All right, we're ready to go. Who's that look like? Good to go. Awesome. Thanks so much. Alrighty, thank you. Come on. Come on. Okay. Permit on, baby. Woo! <laughs> oh my Did God. You spot lock? I haven't been this excited to catch a fish in a really, really long time. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Wow, man, talk about a fight. Are you kidding me? So it's been about a year and a half since this boat's caught a permit. Stephanie caught one on the flats when we were bone fishing about a year and a half ago. But I've just been seeing a lot of guys do all this offshore permit stuff and I've never done it before. And it's a new fishery. Whenever there's something new to figure out in the Florida Keys, I'm always up for it. I just love learning, trying new fishing techniques. And I think what's just unreal is like I've been saying, it hasn't been easy. This is probably about our fifth time coming out here trying to do this. And we finally did it, man. Wow. How about that? My wife caught her first permit before I even did. He's right here. Stephanie, you want to grab him? Yeah. Put it on spot lock. Is wow. Look at that. Here, take that. Yeah. Wow. Come here. Come here, dude. Come here. Don't grab the leader. Come on. He's pooping. Got him. <laughs> Woo First permit, baby. Check that out right there. You gotta be kidding me. I can't believe I did it. Talk about a feeling, man. I haven't felt this good <laughs> since we caught that swordfish last year. I don't want to leave him out of the water for too much longer. Reason why is because these fish are breeder fish. They're out here offshore spawning. I wanna make sure that we release him just as quick as we caught him, if not quicker. So we're gonna let him go for another day. But man, that was so cool. <laughs> Sweet. So this is the same exact setup that we were catching the mahi on earlier. This is just a 5,500 pen slammer. We got some 30 pound braid on here, 20 pound class Key Largo custom rod. We have a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader and that's tied to the braid with an FG knot. But for the permit, we switched to a circle hook and we're gonna be sight casting right on top of them. Now cast, lead them, lead them, like cast out in front of them. Stay patient. 
There you go, perfect. And just let that fall. Just let that fall. Oh, she's got him, baby. She's got him. Woo! <laughs> I just love hearing how excited Clay gets. You, I love it. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. Oh my goodness. I'm trying my this hardest. This is exciting. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's going. Back and forth. There he is. Oh, wow. What a beautiful fish. Look at him, fighting, fighting. He does not want to come to the surface. Get him, Stephanie. Clay, you want to grab him for me? You want me to grab him? He's got fight in Which him. Which side do you want me to grab him on, this side? I don't know, because he's got a lot of fight in him. Do you guys see this? Just <laughs> look at that. Look at that. He's a little one. You got the baby. Oh, just let him. He is a little one. Look at that. Two permit. Are you kidding me? Hey, good job, Stephanie. Woo! So cool, man. That is. Oh, he did not like that. No, he's not ready. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Yoo-hoo! Look at that, Look baby. Look at that. Permit number two of the day. <laughs> good job, Stephanie. I Woo! can't believe it, man. Did he sold the hook? Nah. Why right is he bleeding? I don't know. He's got a bloody little mouth right there. But check that out, man. They have those rubber little lips on them. They don't have any teeth, but the first one that Stephanie ever caught was on the flats, on a little live shrimp. Mm -hmm. Well, so proud of her for that. But hey, you just sight casted for one here offshore on the wrecks. That's my wife right there. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Good for me. Awesome. I like to keep them in the water as much as possible just to keep them as healthy as possible. Absolutely. tell you it has been one heck of a day that is why I absolutely love really all seasons in the Florida Keys but I just love the summertime man and the biggest reason why is you get in the water it's so hot and it feels so good and what's crazy we just filmed a video here probably about a couple weeks ago and Basically, we talked about how this little island formed off the Florida Keys, and everybody's been asking us where it's been at. But the truth is, it's already kind of dissipating. We had some heavy winds that came through. Yeah, we had a tropical depression. Yeah, and we've actually came here with the contender. We came here actually back in winter, I think, and the island wasn't even here. So it's already kind of fading away, and you can't go on it anymore because no. of the bird nesting. Yes, it's marked off as a bird nesting area. Bird nesting area. area. When we went on it, it was legal, but it's actually illegal to go onto the island right now. But you can still come out here on your boat and, and enjoy, enjoy the this. water. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. We got a Bahamas video coming up. We're yeah. going to have a Key West video coming up. We're excited to bring you guys all the new content. We love you all. Thanks yeah. so much. See you guys next week. <laughs>